Hello and welcome to Digital Access Pass. My name is Veena Prashant. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you some easy ways uh, to troubleshoot PayPal IPN issues. Now, PayPal uses instant payment notification known as IPN to notify third-party systems of events such as cancellation, refunds, subscription payment. Now, this notification is critical for subscription management. So if you run a membership site and you use a membership plugin such as DAP, what happens is PayPal sends a notification whenever a subscription payment goes through successfully in PayPal. And DAP uses the notification to automatically extend users' access to that subscription product. So the whole access management is based on, it relies on notification from PayPal. So if this notification is not working right, users might lose access to a product or a service even though the payment goes through successfully in PayPal. Now, PayPal does not make it easy to troubleshoot IPN issues. So in this video, I'll show you some easy ways to troubleshoot PayPal IPN issues. So log into your PayPal account and then click on account settings. It will bring you to a page like this. Click on notifications and then you will see there is instant payment notifications. This is what we need. Click on update. It will bring you to a page like this. Make sure that notification URL is set correctly in case of DAP. It needs to point to this script. If your site is running on HTTPS, make sure that you're using HTTPS in the URL and receive IPN messages. Make sure this is the one that you have selected here. Otherwise, PayPal will not send IPN messages. Now, if you have set this correctly, but having IPN issues where the notification is not even getting sent by PayPal or it's getting sent but not getting processed by DAP, there are a few things you can do to figure out the cause of this problem. Now, you can see here, there is this link to IPN history page. This is again on the same page. Uh, towards the top, you will see there is this link here. This is such a useful tool. I'm not sure why PayPal does not make it more obvious and maybe add a button to it somewhere so people can see it. Most people don't even know it exists because it's just hiding here. But if you go to this page, it will definitely help you uh, troubleshoot IPN issues. So I'm gonna click on this. So this is the IPN history page. Here you can select the date range. PayPal will let you go back up to 28 days. So any problems you have had in the last 28 days, you can troubleshoot it here. Select the right date range. And then here you will find a list of all the notifications uh, that PayPal sent. And you will see the status as well. It will tell you if it was sent successfully or it failed. Here you can see this one says retrying. So this one failed for some reason and it's still retrying. It didn't make it successfully. So if you know the transaction ID of the transaction that didn't make it, you can enter that here and search for it and then you can check what the status is. So there are two types of problems. One is PayPal is not even sending the notification, right? So in that case, you will not find anything here. So if your IPN URL is set correctly, but there is nothing here, then you can talk to PayPal and find out why PayPal is not even sending it, right? So that's a rare case, but if you don't even see anything here, even though your URL is set correctly in the IPN page, you will have to talk to PayPal support and see why they are not sending a notification. But if you see the notification here, uh, the notifications are getting sent, but it's not getting processed by DAP. It could be because, number one, there is a problem at server level. So your server is rejecting the messages from PayPal. So this retry could be because your server is not even accepting the message from PayPal, so it's not even reaching DAP. Or it could be because uh, your server is receiving the message, DAP is getting the message, but it's failing somewhere. It's not able to complete the processing. So even though the status says sent, say that there was a problem and the user's access was not extended in DAP, even though the payment went through successfully. So what you can do is click on the message ID number right here. It will bring you to a page like this where you will find all the message details. It will show you the notification URL. So what this means is the script to which the notification was sent. So first thing you need to do is check if this URL is correct. So if this is correct, this is the right uh, script to which the notification should be sent and the status says sent, uh, you will find all the details about the message right here. So this is the message that was sent by PayPal in the IPN. Next thing you can do is go to DAP and see what happened. So this is the DAP payment orders page. Here you will find all the payment orders that uh, was processed by DAP uh, during a specific date range. You can select the date range right here. So say that you had a problem between this date range Select the date range. It will show you all the transactions that DAP received, all the IPN messages that DAP received in that date range. Then you can check the status field. If it says success, it means everything worked right. DAP would have extended the user's access to the product. If it says processed affiliation successfully, it also means success and uh, DAP would have extended the access in this case as well. 
But if it says new, for example, here you can see it says new. If the status is set to new, what this means is uh, DAP received the notification from PayPal and when DAP uh, sent a request back to PayPal to make sure that the notification in fact came from PayPal. So that's the verification check that DAP does to make sure that notification is in fact coming from PayPal. So this can happen if there is a communication issue between your server and PayPal. There are a couple of things you can do when this happens. You can click on this edit icon right here to edit this transaction and it will bring you to the edit transaction page. Just click on update and it will change the status from new to success and it will automatically extend user's access. This is not going to fix the actual problem, which is the next time it comes in for a different request, you don't want the status to be new. So the next thing you need to do is go to setup config page, click on payment processing, here under the PayPal tab, uh, make sure that the communication protocol is set to fopen. So if it is set to fopen and you're having this issue, you can switch it to curl and see if it helps. Otherwise, if it is set to this by default and you're having problems like this, just switch it to fopen and then check for the next few days if the problem gets resolved. And one more thing you can do is, this is the PayPal IPN page. If a specific transaction didn't make it to DAP, you can just select it and see this, there is a resend uh, button here. You can click on it to resend that IPN notification uh, to your server. And then you can go back to the DAP orders page and see if the notification made it uh, to DAP and if the status is set to success. So these are some easy ways for you to troubleshoot uh, PayPal IPN issues. Uh, IPN history page is a really helpful tool that will tell you what's happening. Is PayPal sending it? If PayPal is not even sending it, there might be a problem with the URL that you have set. There might be a problem with your setting in PayPal, so you can talk to PayPal support. If PayPal is sending, but it's not uh, connecting with DAP for some reason, try to change the notification protocol in the setup config page, uh, change it from fopen to curl, or if it's already set to curl, you can change it to fopen, see if that helps, and check the status of the notifications. So if there is a problem, user's access didn't get extended, go to the orders page, select the right date range, and see if the status says success or processed affiliations. If it does, it's fine. If it says new, then you can click on this edit button here. Just click on update once so it can extend the access. So this you can do manually for uh, transactions that were stuck with a new status. And if you want to resend a notification from PayPal, uh, you can go to the IP and history page, select the transaction that you want to resend and uh, click on the resend button. And also if there is a transaction here that's stuck with a new status, you can get the transaction ID from here. You can enter the transaction ID here, click on search, it will bring up uh, details about that transaction. And then you can click on the message ID to see all the details about that message. And if you tried all of this and it's still not working, just open a support ticket with us and we'll take a look. I hope this was helpful. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.